day two working in Florida. Check out our commuter. So here we are. This is Fort Lauderdale. I guess they call it the Venice of America. So we're about to take Allison Tree's boat here out to our job site. It's pretty early. Should be awesome. We're gonna we're gonna see the sunrise here in a minute. But how cool is this? There are just a, a canals all over Fort Lauderdale, and you can get to a lot of places by boat. Really awesome. Got the moon over there. Palm trees over there. It's warm outside. It's February. This is a uh, this is the life right here. Last boat we had took out more. <laughs> Double fist in there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You're> jacked up. <laughs> you're gonna be, you're gonna have a lot of energy. Yeah. This is something special. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think of that commute, Randy? Awesome. I could do it every day. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Like Here's the job. What are you doing in there, Randy? What, what you doing? <laughs> I was just checking it out. I wasn't going to go to the bathroom at all. <laughs> what are you doing? That's, that's, that's a chip check. That's not a bathroom. This is cool. It's really clever. They put, they mounted a, a rack to their chipper. That is really clever. Here's a chip check. The other guys took the chip check. We took the boat. Because Randy and I are living a life of luxury we took the boat so here's the job it's a jungle in here there's a, a lot of a lot of this and that to do here but it's just quite the variety in here these are royal palms there's a bunch of stuff in here so here's the job so i've done some cocos in hawaii they use a, a cane knife like a machete type thing i think these guys use a handsaw here uh these are cocos they've got to get cleaned up those coconuts are a huge liability so randy's gonna be working on these Man, those are beautiful. I can't believe people live like this. <laughs> this is so nice. So Randy's gonna work on those cocos. I'll show you what I'm gonna be working on. So I'm extremely excited about this. I've always wanted to do one of these trees. This, it's hard to see because it's like a jungle in here. This is a live oak. Real, um, you know, like American South tree. You know, you only see these here that I know of. They are so sprawly, it's crazy. So this thing's all over the building in that direction. It's really short and it's really wide. Maybe I can find some other angles to really show you. Like this is a big tree and it's much wider than it is tall. It's really hard to like get the whole thing in the camera. It's just, it's so sprawled out. It's absolutely monstrous. And it just sprawls out all over the place. I mean, it's just an incredible tree. So I'm gonna be pruning that tree yeah, you can see it kind of from here. Like, it, it, dude, it's so sprawly. It's just crazy. So in this area in Florida, they have a lot of hurricanes and they come through and just ravage the trees, obviously. So they're all about, you know, when it comes to pruning, they're, they're much more heavily focused on crown reduction. When you reduce the crowns of these trees, they're a lot less likely to fail and break apart, you know, in the hurricane. And so, you know, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up this tree and I'm basically going to remove the furthest extended limbs out of it on the house side. And that just kind of shortens up the canopy a little bit. It makes the tree a bit stockier. You know, down here, a lot of the trees too, they'll, they'll prune them pretty aggressively, 
back when they reduce them. Sometimes the, the tree might not quite look as good if they reduce it really hard, but the, you save the tree when the hurricane comes in. So like where we live, we have storms and stuff, but you don't, things grow really fast. You don't generally like reduce entire canopies of trees as much. Um, well, most of our trees are conifers anyways, but anyways, just in this area, you can really preserve these trees a lot better by shortening them up. So I'm gonna head up that live oak. I might hop in it from the roof, honestly, because trying to throw ball into this thing is kind of hard to get a good shot, honestly. It's just, it's just a drill jungly, and <laughs> I really think I can just, it'll probably be easier to get into the canopy from the roof. So I think I'm gonna hop on the roof and just start taking out some of these longer pieces. I'm really excited to get into it, and Randy's excited to uh, do some palm trees. So let's uh, just get after it, eh? Well, I'm gonna go out front. I'll see you soon. Yeah, I'll see you in a minute. It probably took me, what, 15, 10, 15? <laughs> Don't judge me, this is my first palm. I'm learning still. It's my first live oak. It's got goyle. Oh yeah, we're good. I don't know how my chain. Yeah, how's that doing after the, that ironwood? It looks okay. I just, I can't believe, I still can't believe that ironwood, how horrible that was to cut. Yeah. It's like the worst cutting experience of my life. You're gonna ladder up there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to. I'm just gonna wait for someone to come give me a hand with the ladder or hold it because I'm I'm super ladder sketch. Oh hi. Hi, how are you doing, man? Good, I'm Jake. Max. Watch the coffee and oh. stuff coming. Thank you. Because oh. I'm an island boy. Not much. What are you working on? What are you doing? Um I'm probably actually gonna go on that roof and help you out. Oh nice. Um, That's what I was just I'm looking for. Yeah, Alex. Like, uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Because you know, it's I, I, yeah, I I was, rope and you can't. That's what I was thinking about, just hop, getting in from the roof. We got like a, a ladder or something? Like, you get to the roof. Yeah, yeah I was just going to hop in that thing from the roof. Sure. Um, do you want a rope, Jake? Like, uh, just put up in the tree? Or you got one? Or? I think I'm going to... Oh, I left it in the backyard. I think I'm going to throw it in the tree from the roof. I think... I don't know. Like, because I'm just looking at these that he wants to reduce, and I'm like, what do you yeah. even tie into? Um... Well, dude, it's a big, strong oak, so like, dude, you can, you can tie in on some relatively on like small anything, stuff. Huh? Yeah, so like, even that, so then you can put it right up in there on that yeah. top corner. Like, I think I'm just gonna like get on the roof and just kind of climb out on the tips, sure. just like a little kid climbing a tree. <laughs> yeah, dude, that works there. too. Yeah, so maybe you do this. <laughs> hey, Randy, what's up? Do you want? Ratchet strap right for the here. ladder. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank tree. you. Yeah. Uh, is yeah, that yeah, something yeah, that, that people do? That's Man. something that I do. You do? Just because, like, you know, sometimes when you're reaching around the back, like coconuts have really strong fronds, so you can jump on the head if you want and throw your lanyard around a few of them. Um, but, like, sometimes when you're reaching around to do the fronds of the nuts on the back, you kind of are lanyarded, and then, like, you're leaning on the ladder a little bit. And the ladder could shoot out? Yeah. I mean, it's up to you. Uh, I, I probably will take a. Because I have like a 30 foot lanyard. Sure. I have this lanyard and then a 30 foot rope one. I'll probably just take that one up and have it. So if, if anything does happen, I'm just dangling and someone can set up the ladder. <laughs> sure. I just not, uh, well, yeah. well, I'll see when I get up there. Because I'm yeah, like, man, I'm, just, I'm not really, uh, what is it, 30 foot ladder? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll, man. I mean, you'll be great, but just let me know. Yeah. Because like, you have a ratchet strap? Yeah. All right. So I'll let you know. Are you about to head up this guy? Uh, I'm going to help Jake out on the yeah, roof. So this this will take me 10 seconds. So oh, I'm cool. I'm putting the rope in there. And Sweet. I'm going to let it sit there. For let it sit there for a... Right. All right, sir. You were saying I might need spikes for this one? If oh. you're doing the first one? The, yeah, the one up farthest away. Yeah, the... you might. I was going to have you start... Where's your ladder? Yeah, I think it's right over by it. Yeah, I would start... I would start with that one. Okay. Oh, another reason why we use hand saws is because... When you have boats like that, you really minimize the dust. And you know, like with um, the dust from a chainsaw, the way that it shoots a little bit of oil. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. It comes out in the water and the saw dust, like, you get the oil slick. Yeah, and then also, even with like a handsaw on sables, there's something to sable dust that just sticks to car. Like, I've had people want me to detail their entire car. They were five spots away, and I'm shaving sables. There's like the little dust. It looks like the size of the dust that came from that. Um, but it's sticky. Australian pine. Yeah, this is sappy. And I'm sure you have the same. Oh yeah, look at this thing. Look how sprawly this is. I'm gonna get geared up on the roof and just start. I'm just gonna be like a little kid climbing a jungle gym on this thing. This is so sick. So cool. I love the little ferns. 
Dude, I've wanted to climb one of these ever since I started doing tree work. Dude, they are you know, being amazing, the north, right? Like they're one of the most amazing species. Yeah, and they're so I've iconic of the American that. South, you know? Right. Like they just that live oaks. Look. Yeah, amazing. Gnarly wood too. Really cool. Oh, that. So crazy that you like look up and there's no crown, you know? Right. There's nothing growing straight up. So crazy. Look at this twists and turns. But you see the coconuts here, that whole thing has gone to maturity to where that's something that I think once you throw your fronds here, you can go ahead and just toss that here. Toss it's gonna, the coconuts? The, the, the whole thing. The whole thing? Yeah. It's going to split and we'll pick them up. Uh, but I wouldn't be too concerned. Okay. Because that, we're trying to like prevent them from getting coconuts for long as, as much as possible. Okay. So well, shoot, go. I'm going to snag up the ladder and okay. lean it up there and go for it. You want me to put the ladder up against the roof real quick? I'll get it. Hey, go ahead and start the palm, and I'll just talk to both you guys from the roof. Cool. Yeah, I'd love it if you came up here and just, you point, I cut. Rope Runner Pro is my favorite device. Available at sappysupplies.com. Along with this uh, this really nice Courant Stilio. It's flexible, just like a rope lanyard. It's really, really soft. It's got steel core in it, so it's extra safe. It's really awesome. Appreciates the sprawl. Yeah. So we want to bring it just short of the chimney. Like they don't want to cut anything back unnecessary. And the goal is to find something that almost reaches the outer edge. Yeah. And provides like a removal of a competing branch. You know what I'm right, saying? Like, right. Yeah. Walk, start walking my way up. That's crazy. Right. And then there's a dead one there to pop out. <laughs> well, this is the weirdest tree access ever. Right. This. And it's really strong. <laughs> yeah. Say, feel free to walk out all the way on these tips. Unreal. Handsaw. I'll be here to pick you up. <laughs> I'm going for the pool if anything happens. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that feels so nerdy. Oh my gosh. This is honestly the scariest thing I've ever done. I am kind of freaked. How's it going over there? I'm kind of freaked. Oh, oh really? A little bit. I'm like 30 feet up on a, a step ladder. That's not something I normally, uh, not something I normally do. Yeah, this is pretty, uh, pretty crazy there, Randy. I did not like that. <sighs> Holy moly, dude, I'm freaked out. I feel like Tarzan in this tree. Wow. One, two, three. Even that little dead piece is really heavy. <laughs> right? Hey! The obvious drop zone looks like it's just to your left, right there where your ladder rope is. Yeah. Just make your own bed. We'll help stack if that's, I think that's where you want to be. When I get the coconuts, stack, have them stack them up? Yeah, because the uh, the corners of the pool, this marble's super soft, they'll break easy. So we so, want to get here. So that way. Yep. Up. Holy macaroni and cheese. Heads up. scary <laughs> do you would you mind piling up some fronds so I can throw some coconuts yeah thank you Mitch Thank <laughs> you. 
so weird. It's just like, this is so different than a fir tree. <laughs> okay, where was I headed? <laughs> All right, there you go. You're in the area. So I'm in the right area. Okay. Might actually hand saw this one. It's kind of awkward. Butchering that thing or it's looking sweet. You got that? Yeah, you can let go. I got it. Yeah, no, it's just... I've never worked long hours. Yeah, this is kind of like thick in here. Yeah. <laughs> This area is good? That whole area is good. I mean, I'm going back to the same thing. Look at how much you take it out. How's that go? Good. How's it looking all right? Yeah. It's my first one. This guy? Or leave it? Yeah, hey, the goal is nine and three. But even with a coconut, they're still going to. They're going to, it's going to bow down? And I, I, as far as the burlap, is that looking okay or, or more? That looks good. No, that's it. All right. Well, shoot then. I'm a coconut pruner now. I guess so. <laughs> All right. Well, then I'm on to the next, right? On to the next one. Cool. Man, I'm going to walk down. Don't be such a scary shot. I am freaked about these knives, man. They are just like not my jam. Is it Alex? Yep. Can I, can I get you to hold the ladder? I'm feeling a little uh, uneasy. I don't think I've ever climbed a ladder this high in my life. Really? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, wow. All right. Step back and take a look at my work. See how I butchered this thing. It's like I've been doing it 20 years. <laughs> does it look, does it? How's it look from you? You've seen it normal? Oh, it looks normal to me. I also just drag stuff a couple days a week, man. But you, you probably see it, you know? Yeah, it, yeah, that yeah. looks, uh, yeah. it doesn't look like a butcher oh, did yeah. it. Yeah, it looks doesn't look like a Washington guy did it. No, <laughs> cool. Well, then I'm off to the next. So when someone does this, would they break down the ladder and move it or would they just go? They usually drop it and then just, yeah, lift it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take off all this stuff and cut myself with my handsaw while I was up there. It's officially mine. It's a brand new handsaw, but I got the, the cut of a silky, so. <laughs> It's mine now. Broke it in. Yeah, I broke it in finally. Only had it for like a week, but I was expecting a cut sooner. So I'm gonna take this one out. It's it's rubbing, kind of filing this branch down, and it's also the tallest one in this area. I mean, look at this. I'm at the top of this tree. It's just incredible. It's really not that tall. <laughs> it's just so fun. Like uh, yesterday, that was like one of the hardest trees ever. Those Australian pines. But I was like, man, I would hate to have to do these every day, but. I feel like I could prune live oak every day. This is so fun, just because the trees, it's, dude, it's like a ladder. You just you climb around like Tarzan up here. It's so rad. I feel like removal would actually be really hard because you'd have to like <laughs> straddle the logs and cut them and there's no nothing to tie into, but pruning, this is so, so great. What this awesome this adventure of a day. Okay, I'm just gonna be throwing twigs. Like, it'd be a pile of brush. Just gonna make salad. It's, the roof's 15 feet below me. I'll just cut it so small it can't possibly hurt anything. I just love climbing this so much. I feel, I literally feel like a little kid climbing this thing. I'm all the way at the top and there's a perfectly sideways branch. It's so weird. It's so weird. Just 
just need to make the 30 step foot up there and I'll be. Yeah, man. I'll stay local too. We'll just holler when we want to come down. Cool. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so slow. This is wild oh, to me. Dude, yeah, take your time. Take your time. This, this is very high. Now, I'm usually attached to the tree, so I'm always like, yeah. ladders scare me. Usually, I, uh, spike. Yeah, I, well, or we throw a line, but I fell off of a 17 foot orchard ladder last summer. Oh, really? Yeah, so, like, free fall. I thought I was dead. Yeah. It was crazy. So that's it for this area, right here? Yeah, you got it, that's it. Great. Again, it's like literally one limb, you know? Totally. If this was an immature oak, we would treat it different. We would actually do a lot more cuts, try to give it a little more ornamental shape, but, but you would never do that on this. A lot of the immature oaks, you don't want them to get this big because it creates too many issues for where they're at. <laughs> I'm like a human crane. <laughs> How you doing over there, Randy? Scared out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> These ladders are gnarly, dude. Do you like big removals all the time? And you're no, scared of those just, it's not even that. I mean, it's cool. It's different. It's an experience for sure. I just like, holy moly, this is definitely different than anything I've ever done. Yeah. Yeah, pretty unique. Some days you're the dog, some days you're the hydrant. Yep. I think I got the good tree on this one. <laughs> dude, that is so crazy. Those, those coconut things are just heavy as balls. Oh, yeah. I actually thought this tree would be a lot more difficult. The, like, the live oak? At a glance, I'm like, this is going to be really hard. There's nothing to really tie into. But once you get up there, you realize that all the branches are totally sideways. Like, it's literally a ladder up there. It's really easy to walk around. You just tie in and then you're just Yeah, like, you just tie in like two feet above you. And then oh, it's and like, then it's just like, everything's totally sideways. Like, but, but thick. It's weird. Like, you have a lot of places to stand. I would not want to remove one, though, without a crane. Oh, so I didn't see down there, Alex. Heads up. Yep. Sorry. That was a like, great call. That, done, right? Perfect. It's a great. That was a great choice. You can't even like tell. Right. And so my whole thing is not so much that competing. It's that outer canopy where it catches. That's wind. where it grabs wind. Yeah. I, I yeah. see it like a million times. But so I took my track course, the tree risk assessment okay. thing. Yep. And they said that a branch that you reduce by 10% is half as likely to fail. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, like you strengthen it by 100%. That's all By taking 10% off the right. top of a tree or a leader or a branch. You you see, you don't need to do much. And then here's real numbers you're telling me, but that's what I preach constantly is crown reduction, crown reduction. But then here's what's cool is because I know the tree actually serves the customer too, there are times we will make more cuts to give them a more ornamental shaped look on a tree that's 20 years old because right, I could right. achieve the same thing with less cuts. It just, the end product's not as pretty. Yeah, so yeah. we put a little more labor into it and go ahead and give them something that has more aesthetic value. But this is already established. The shape's already established. We just want to preserve right. it. It's done. The it's it a beast. Like, yeah. I don't know how big the base is of this. <laughs> and I still can't tell if this is two trees that swelled into one. Right. You can't really tell from the base. Yeah. 
or if it was just grew that way. Do they ever fail, like uproot these things? Rarely, because you see there's one, it's a deeper They're root. just like a big stocky sumo wrestler tree. Right, so you'll see a tree like this in the center of a yard yeah. with hardly any roots along the surface. No no roots in the grass, huh. root. But the Australian pine we did yesterday, or a pond gam, they'll have, or a ficus, they have crazy surface roots. Because what they yeah. do, they love the our upper 18 inches of soil. It's yeah. mucky, because yeah. this was like, like swamp area. Right. And so those roots are so happy in the upper 18 inches, they crawl and sprawl and swell and sit high. Yeah. So they'll topple easy in a storm. And then Randy over here is kicking butt. <laughs> Look at him up there. There's my boy, Coco Master. Florida man. Look at you. Look at you go. Mm. Look you at me. so fast. <laughs> Yeah, Heath says go ahead and top it now. <laughs> Whoa, that was scary. Yeah, those are heavy. My flip line took a little, little spill. Randy's just over there working out, working the muscles. Getting big. <laughs> All right, so I'm done with this live oak. You can't really tell that I did much of anything to it. That's the point. That's what makes it a good job. You know, that's why Heath told me to do it that way because you know the idea of course is we don't it's a beautiful amazing tree we want it to be strong when the hurricanes come so they say by reducing 10 percent reduction the, the the tree is half as likely to fail something like that you know just by taking a little bit just kind of sneaking out the longest ones we preserve the structure and the shape of the tree it's a natural shape you're not going to get weird um, abnormal growth because you're not just like making heading cuts um, so you're going to have the natural shape the natural structure it's going to be a little stockier a little stronger right because you know the base and the roots that's all the same size but the canopy is a little smaller so it's just grabbing a little bit less wind so this tree is going to be really happy when the wind blows and you really can't tell much of anything i hope that you can really tell in this video i kind of doubt it but it's just such an incredible absolutely amazing tree it's so oh i, ju I just love this tree it's so cool um but we're done with it and i <laughs> Yeah, I just couldn't be more stoked about this tree. Traveler palms, huh? You said they're full of water? That's it. You'll see when we slice it how much water comes out. But I'll do one side and we can do it. Okay. Yeah, Heath is saying that they call them traveler's palms because if you're traveling and you need a drink of water, you can get them from these, I guess. A big old fan on those. Oh, wow. So, just like that, huh? Yeah, you Give it a, a taper like that. Yeah. It look good. Um, you could it anywhere you want, but truly that taper makes it look good. I don't know if you can see, there's definitely water coming out of that. Yeah, it's just like raining right here. Is that good? That's perfect. And I gotta get a marigold, so either awesome. way. How was that? It was awesome. This is great. <laughs> so good. Uh, those are heavy, man. Oh crap! <laughs> that is wild! 
I have to take out my phone for that. That is crazy. There's an iguana up there. An iguana up there? Yeah, look at it. Look at that, Randy's made a friend. I got a buddy. Up there. That is wild, dude. Holy crap. <laughs> you got a picture of it? Yeah, these, these, pa these nuts are heavy. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, I don't, I named him Theodore already. Theodore the iguana? I would've went with Iggy, but that's- Iggy? Oh, he's going out. I think he's a little scared. Where's he going? Farther out on the limb, like a cat goes up. Coward. Yeah, I wonder if it's like a pet, like you do iguana, like cat rescues. <laughs> Igu iguana rescues. <laughs> New business, Randy's <laughs> iguana rescue. That's so crazy. So that, that happened, I'm about to cut them off, right? People, people do that? I'm glad you didn't find an alligator up there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but you're tough. Do they just scurry off? Yeah. Yeah. Theodore, time for your ride. Sorry, buddy. Oh crap, don't climb up at me. <laughs> I'll let him down soft. Oh, that's wild. He's gone. Hey, Alex. That one, you think? Take it. Yeah, I feel safe now. <clears throat> Thank you. Right, I'm gonna pull some of these out. Maybe yep. Go. I'm gonna. This one's the last one, right? Yeah, I might have to grab my spikes because I don't know if it's gonna make it to the top. Might uh, just walk up it and then spike the rest of the way, is what I hear. Did you already do your prune? Did you already do the prune out there? See, we're all just waiting on me. I pruned five palms. I'll go home. <laughs> yeah, that's not even close. It could go one rung higher, but that won't even make a difference. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. It won't catch. Me. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring it back and then probably throw. I'm gonna go ask Heath about it. the I mean, walk up even, there. Not get, get close to it. Like yeah. Close, so. I'm gonna bring up hand snips and probably do one one coconut at a time because those are heavy. Uh, yeah. Where'd he go? Oh, he's, he's in right the bag. There. He's right there. They can be very, uh, his name's Iggy. That's Iggy? <laughs> That's Iggy. <laughs> Theodore and Iggy. Oh, he looks pissed, Randy. Uh-oh. Hungry for, for man blood. He's looking at me. <laughs> I can see him. It's all right, Iggy. I'm here to help. Do <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> touch his <laughs> Now he's in the pile of brush. <laughs> Look at that thing. That thing's huge. Whoo! So I get those spikes in this thing, I'll feel a lot better. Okay, there we go. Whoo! That feels better. Oh. ants up here there's like they're like red and orange is that normal <laughs> that was I almost hit his drone when he flew by with the, the cocoa. That was gnarly. Sorry. This 
this job has been so cool. It's like such a great variety. You've right. got like the, the water and then the, the different kinds of palms and the yeah. live oak. It's like a perfect Florida nice. job. It really is. Yeah, it's so cool. It's like, I'll remember oh, this job for the rest of my life. It's so yeah. cool. That's what's cool, especially this neighborhood. It mixes some northeastern look, even with the architecture. So yeah. nice big shade trees with tropical. Right, it's like right. like a classy mix. Sometimes when you landscape or design, you gotta go one or the other. This whole neighborhood truly mixes both Broward County, Dude. Fort Lauderdale, yeah. and what they're used to up north. You know? Right, like it, the oak and... And some brick. Like yeah, you know? yeah. Um, it's incredible. Yeah, it's a really cool neighborhood for that. And yet you haven't seen the Washingtonian. Yeah, the That's day is the young. <laughs> that is, I mean, it truly is. Like, I, I'm telling you, I went and looked at it again. Yeah. It is sick. Cool. You've seen the one viral video where they do the guy swinging, yeah, the yeah. Washingtonia curving. The oh, that's, that's, that's oh, a no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I know that one. Ay, Dios santo. Ah! A la verga, compa. Oh, man. This one doesn't curve as much, but that's the Washingtonia. Oh, man. So really strong. But I think you is should. Is that tall? Talk. It is. Oh man. It's really tall. It's really tall. <laughs> Are you coming over to stabilize the ladder for me? Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, I got you, buddy. Kind of hard to stabilize this thing. A little bit. I'm feeling a little. You're way up there. A little scary. I I don't know if I'm doing anything. I don't know if I'm doing anything. Well, if I go, it's the it's the water. It is. Either way, I got water on the other side of me. Yeah, you can't lose. It's really not the case in Washington, but holy schmoly. Yeah, this is nuts. They don't call you the Mandy for nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. This is crazy. Unclipped. I don't want this to hit you when I come down, so. Me neither. I gotcha. I'll just catch you if you fall. It'd be easy. Oh! My eight pack. Yeah. Sure is up there. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. That was interesting. I've never, I mean, first three or four palms I've ever done in my life. That was, that was gnarly. I guess the next one's really crazy. Well, I'm excited to see you get up there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the, uh, it says it's the kind of palm that, you know, that video where the guy cuts the palm and. <laughs> oh, and it goes. <laughs> yeah, it's just that is it kind. like that? Like. I don't know. Oh, uh, well. This is like 80 feet tall though. I'm excited to watch it. <laughs> yeah. A lot of coconuts. I don't really know what to do with them. See if you got shredded coconut in it. <laughs> What's a little gas and oil in there for you. It's got to be good. <laughs> Lives in my veins. <laughs> I do kind of want it. Is it good? Tastes like gas and oil? It cut no, too it much. doesn't really taste like anything, really. Really? No. Mine is pretty tasty, but. This might be, I don't really know. Is it immature? Is it not? I don't know. It's Am I going to get diarrhea? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Gotta gamble. Only one way to find out. Yeah, I better finish it off. <laughs> Yeah, I was 
Doesn't taste like Next video, we'll... <laughs> we'll give you the diagnosis of what really happened to me. It might be later today. <laughs> like this thing's probably 200 pounds. Yeah, this is probably gnarly. Right, yeah. Man. This would get kind of old. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely like have a hand up. I don't know. This morning my chain looked like burnt from cutting the ironwood and I was cutting live oak which is really hard with my nano chain and it was just like chewing through the oak it was so insane like I cut the oak great but yesterday that ironwood was just absolutely absolutely horrible pretty crazy it's Oregon speed cut nano chain be a little sappy supplies that come I'm just wrapping up this video guys thanks for having us out today Heath yeah man that was an absolute blast I'll remember this job for the rest of my life nice job Randy did you have fun today yeah that was awesome yeah that was a great day thanks for the pizza real Italian pizza so yep yeah, yeah. thanks everybody for letting us be a part of this job. Really appreciate it. So, all right, that's it for this one. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you later.